Hi, my name is Rachel Ewens. I'm a mobile strategist and I run the app blog ladyappapp.com. And today we're going to talk about how to draw on your iPad with a stylus. So a lot of artists or people who have been used to using PDAs in the past are used to using a stylus. It's something pretty common for them and they're used to using that interface. Steve Jobs has long been opposed to the stylus and it's one reason it hasn't been included with iPhones or iPads. He was not a fan and he did not believe that a well-designed device should use a stylus much to the chagrin of artists everywhere. But in the last couple of years, there have been some excellent styluses, styli coming out. Um, mine is not one of the super top ones. Uh, Wacom makes some really awesome stylus. Uh, this one will kind of get you by though. What you really need to look for is the capacitative tip. So it needs to be able to read the tip on the device. Um, another really important um, tip for using a stylus with an iPad is to understand that the iPad doesn't have palm rejection. So if you're putting your palm on your iPad, it's actually gonna read it. So it's really hard when it comes to a lot of designers drawing, um, people who are used to that Wacom tablet who can really easily draw and have it you know, ignore their palm. It's not gonna do that. Um, what you can do is there are some apps who have found workarounds on this. Uh, one of my favorite is an app called Sketchbook. It's one of the most popular drawing apps on iPhone and iPad, it's just Sketchbook. You can find it in the App Store. And it actually has built in a palm rejection feature. So this is it right here. Now it's not gonna be super intuitive to where it'll follow your palm around, but you can actually do is this, this right here is gonna be your palm rejection zone. So if you're gonna have your hand in the lower right, you can actually drag it right there and it'll reject your palm and it'll kind of follow you around. Um, so this is a lot better way to get the best effect out of your stylus that you possibly can. There's a lot of different variety when it comes to buying a stylist and how you want to use it. And it kind of depends on if you want to write, if you want to draw, what sort of art you're producing. But these are some basic tips to draw with a stylus on your iPad.